Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're looking at a higher end travel trailer that has bunk beds with a very, very long title. This is the 2021 Coachman Freedom Express Liberty Edition Model 292 BHD SLE. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features then. We're gonna give you three things we love about this travel trailer and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews, Tobles. It's the World's Only Channel giving you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to travel trailers, toy haulers and fifth wheels and again today i am super excited to be taking a look at this beautiful upper echelon bunkhouse travel trailer from coachman very excited to show everybody but before i begin i would like to say hi to will hey will hey guys how's it going good it's warming up here in virginia yep and we're just rolling for you guys yeah man so. we're cranking them out and we, we are we're having fun and we appreciate you all being on the team Anytime. now will let's begin Model is 292 BHD SLE, but the actual tip to tip length of this travel trailer is 33 feet 5 inches. The dry weight is 6,622 pounds, and well, the hitch weight 747 pounds. And again, everybody, that is per the manufacturer. Always check the individual weight of each RV. Know before you tow. Ain't that right? That's right. Up front here. We do have a nice power tongue jack, but Will, this isn't any power tongue jack. This is the BAL's SS 5.1 stabilizing system. It turns up here, you got your power, and look, this, this helps with your stabilizing jack to make sure that you're all level, and it is awesome and it's a high-end feature. I love that. Up front here, we have a nice fiberglass front cap, and here's what this means. If you come to the side over here, Notice how the side wall ends here, and this is an actual fiberglass cap. It puts the seam there so that's less likely to get a leak. And I must say, I love this front windshield right there. Yeah, I it's, like that too. It's gonna look awesome on the inside, and you have your LED lights right there. Coming down the side here, we do have some storage held up by a magnet. Nice pass-through storage there. And you can see this is all aluminum frame and everything. And they give you a grill, I guess. A little grill and table. They sure do. Because this is a Coachman travel trailer, they do use the Asdale sidewall composites, which is a green base material and it will never delaminate on you. I love that. And throughout the whole travel trailer, frameless windows. You do have a nice power awning with LED lights. And down here, we have your Lippard component solid steps. I absolutely love these. Feel like these are important for all travel trailers. I actually don't know if any travel trailer is not doing it. And if they're not doing it, I don't like it. Uh, aluminum cage construction and everything. And then look at this. Look at this. This is a two-in-one, Will. Not the two-in-one. That is. The bottle opener psh, for America and a leash holder for your dog. Dogs are also America. <laughs> right here, we have power if you want to have a TV on the outside. Speakers on the outside right there. And then look at these axles. Look how far they are spread apart. That is gonna give you independent suspension and it's gonna give you nice while you're driving down the road. It's gonna be a nice driving experience. And then right here, this is a place for you to put the tabletop and the grill right there. And then look at this well. Nice! Look at this outside kitchen. Again, I love that. The grill goes over there. And then look, you got storage here. Plumb through sink, I like that little bit of uh like um holders right there very nice there and look it's the attitude fridge attitude attitude we should collaborate with them and make a matitude fridge <laughs> hey this also passes the tall test something you probably haven't realized in the past with travel trailers what are you trying to say <laughs> look at but that i do notice that all the time with travel trailers uh -huh. usually this is too small when there's an outside kitchen the tall test i like yeah. that well you like hashtagged that? it hashtag hashtag <laughs> tall test nice coming around the back we do have a nice bumper for your stinky slinky 
right up there it is prepped if you want to have the Voyager backup camera. Also, we have a ladder to get up on the, do you know the roof? Mm -hmm. I believe it's the, um... Fiberglass? No, it's not fiberglass. I mean, right? um, um, PVC, PVC roof. I think, yeah. Let's go up there and take a look. Don't quote me on the roof, y'all. All right, up here on the roof, it appears that it's a PVC roof. We do have a AC unit right there. There's your wine guard digital antenna, and you can see the cutouts for the Max Air fans. Oh, now. Great. And if you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. What are the RV salesman's gonna take his fat ass up on the roof? Show you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. Finishing up with the driver's side. Look at that, a little bit of storage, because you can cool. never have enough. Very nice, look. Here's where you fill up your potable water. Potable. 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 City water connection, TV hookup, outdoor shower right there. I love how it's all central, one location. You do have your water heater right here. It's your black tank flush. Look at this. I like that. Yeah, that's they cool. They put the orange just to warn you. Don't put your clean hose on that because it's going to get a little dirty. 30 amp travel trailer. Here's your hookup right there. And that's where you dump your black and gray tank. Cool. Finishing up. We just have a little bit of storage. More storage right under there. Very nice. Well, Will, the outside of this travel trailer looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. Here we go now. Here we go now. Hey, Will, you can't say that. Oh, I say sorry. that. sorry. Ouch. Come on inside. Bedroom. Living area, dining area, kitchen. Mm -hmm. Bathroom. And bunk room. Awesome. Well, well, let's get started up here first. We will start in the master bedroom. Okay. You want to go in on that side? Sure. So the master bedroom has two ways in. It's not a walk around bed. Somebody needs to enter on one side and the other side. But in here, wow, you can see, I'm, oh my, cabinetries are very nice. Very nice. This is a residential queen size mattress. Look at this, I love that. Perfect. Open that there. Look, I love the front windshield. It, listen, this is a small bedroom, y'all, but it makes it look big with that front windshield. Very nice. And let's see if there's um storage underneath. Doesn't oh. Ooh. What That's do we have different. here? So Coachman does this in the motor homes. I don't see the point of it here. Why would they do it like that? Not sure. There's also drawers here. Yeah, show that. There's another drawer on my side as well. Interesting, nice, and different. I'm not hating it. It's different. I like different. And there is power in USB here too. Yep. And then out here in the living room, this TV, it does swivel to go into the bedroom. Uh, you do have to close the doors to do that, but you know, you'll have your fireplace here, your TV swivels, uh, the fireplace produces heat and you do have some storage underneath. Then over here in the living room area, you have a very comfortable sofa right here. I like that too. It's not your typical RV. Not your typical sofa, no. And then check this out, Will. Can I see the camera? Sure. Like, here's my point of view from like where I'm sitting. Yeah. And I'm not turning my head like I like I normally would be. I feel like I'm a farther distance away from that TV. And yeah, I mean. Listen, I've had I've had some real head turners, you know. Oh, um, yeah. Very nice. I like the pattern on this pillow. This pattern is very Art Deco. Is it? I'm supposed to say no. Oh no. Oh yeah. Thanks, Will. <laughs> You're doing a great job. No. 
And then right over here, we do have storage above. I do really like these valances here. And there should be privacy blinds right here. Oh, did you see that? It's got a little spring oh, on it. Fancy, fancy string. This is a tri-fold sofa, and I do like the cup holders here. Also, notice the no carpet for the slide out. I like that a lot. Well, Will, it's now time for the MSRP. <laughs> MSRP on this travel trailer here is $44,142 MSRP. Sale price, as you guys can see right here, we don't have a sale price, but because it's a 2021 model year, but trust me, it will not be in the 40s. It will be lower than that. And Will, why don't you tell everybody how to get the best price in America if they want this unit? They can call, they can text, they can email, they can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962. That is my personal cell. Or you can email me at mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. Or check out our website, mattsrvreviews.com, where you can contact me or Will or both of us and get your official Matt's RV Review stickers. Bing! Uh, also, the contact me page on the website. You contact us, Will or myself. We will then contact our team to make sure you get the best price in America. Damn, damn all right, damn all right, Will. <laughs> Let's continue the video. So over here in this kitchen area, look at this. This is solid nice. surface yeah. countertops. I love it. It's a deep countertop. Right. It's not long, but it's deep. I like that. We got your sink right there. And the craftsmanship of the uh, cabinetries look really great. You know, it's so funny because um, everybody's going to like the white look, right? We got the drawer here. But this isn't white, but it I is. I kind of like it better than But it white. is, it's light. Yeah. It's still a brown, but it's like a light brown and it looks really great. It does. We have a microwave right over here. Very nice. We have that right there. Three burner cooktop. Magic Chef. Ooh. And a little bit right there. And then your fridge here. It's going to be a two way Dometic fridge. Does run off both propane and electric. Very nice. Really nice. Really simple floor plan here. Yeah. But the execution is nice. Look at this little light right there. Very nice. Nice big U-shaped dinette. That's a big U-shaped dinette. And I love it. It's long enough. It does drop down to make a bed. If you do have a tall guest like Will, who's six foot three, the family can certainly sit around it. And if you do need to move the table, it's going to be a little bit weird. But I rather, I rather have my, honestly like this, right? I rather have my table be like this than me sitting like this yeah, you know what i'm saying um and, uh, you know obviously you're not gonna sit like this but you know what i'm saying i like yeah. how the table moves and everything people can actually sit around it and i like all the windows in here it makes it feel open 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 yep. and bright open and bright open and bright cool pantry space yes sir let's check out this bathroom okay uh -oh. i think we're going to have an issue here Let's find out. Okay. Shower tub. If you don't like it, don't get the bathhouse. Or bathhouse. Bunkhouse. Bunk house. Whenever you have the bunkhouse, that's when you're going to get the shower tub, y'all. It, it comes with the territory. Here's what I'm saying. You're getting this type of travel trailer. Guess what you're doing anyway? You're sleeping four, five, six, eight people. People are using the bathhouse anyway. Mm -hmm. Am I right? That's where we like to do it. Got your sink right there. Little bit of storage here. It's now time for the toilet test. I don't think it's gonna pass, Will. I don't either. Let's find out. Porcelain. Is porcelain. Okay, shut the door, please. It works for me, Will. Does it? All right, sit down. Okay. Is it tall approved? Do you have to sit on it with the lid up? Yeah. Kind what? Of weird. Do you poop with the lid down? <laughs> no. It's actually not as bad as, as I expected. And you're good? I'm good. 
That's a prime pooper that position. Bing. Awesome. I did not expect that. Kind I of did not at all either. Okay, now the back bunk room here. Okay, I see what's going on. We have three beds because of the outside kitchen. No slide outs back here, which helps make it real lightweight. 300 pounds on the top bunks, okay? But I like this because, you know, so many times when you're in these quad bunk units, you don't have any storage space. So I like how you have the storage space there. You have your uh, plug right there for power. And then you got this here for even more storage space. Yeah, Pretty this impressive. This is nice. And then you have um, the place for the TV up there. And as nice as it is, Will, and as great as it is, Oops. it's now time we give everybody three things we love about this travel trailer and three things we dislike about it. Will, what do we do foist? Um, three things we dislike. Okay, you ready? You yep. want to shut that door, please? I have all three dislikes, unless okay. you have one that you vouch for. No, I like it overall, so. Okay, you ready? Yeah. First dislike, there's no door here. Oh, yeah. I didn't pick up Curtain. on that at first. And you were touching it, too, and you I didn't was, even realize. Yeah. No door for the back bedroom here. Not a fan of that. I like having a door. I do not like having this, you know, give us some separation. Especially because it's the kids' room, you know what I'm saying? Let them get loud and... Yep, exactly. So that's one. Two. You ready for my number two? Yep. I do not like this style of bedroom. Yeah. Okay? I don't like how you have to walk in on one side and walk in on the other side. It's not an actual bedroom. Right. Okay, so that's two. And then three, to add to that, this TV needs to turn around to be in that bedroom and to do that you have to close the pocket doors mm -hmm. not a fan so to watch tv in the bedroom you have to be in the bedroom closed off yeah just not a fan of that i you know watching tv is not that big of a deal i would have much rather had like a little one in the corner a little yeah. 19 inch or something plus then if you have the tv turned around and you have people sleeping out here yep they don't have a tv mm -hmm. that's that well, well, that's three things we don't like about this motorhome or a uh, travel trailer. Now it's time for three things we love about this travel trailer. You ready for me to go first? Sure. Okay. I must say, this is a very nice plush sofa. It is nice. I like the cup holders. It's a trifold so an adult can sleep on it. No, comboing it. I like the U-shaped dinette and I, I, I like this living area. That's a great, comfortable U-shaped dinette that's big enough for everybody. This is comfortable and nice. And even though I have to turn my head sideways, it's still kind of acceptable with this unit. So that's one. Two. I really like this kitchen space. Although it's just, you know, it's a smaller travel trailer. Uh -huh. You do have the bunks, which usually shrinks down the kitchen. Yep. They just, I don't know what it is really, but I guess it's just because it's deeper. Yep. You actually have like room to work and everything, so. And the solid surface countertop yeah, in here. It's really nice. It's just a nice touch. Um, I'm comboing it again okay. with the cabinets. Yeah. Beautiful cabinets. cabinets. Just the kitchen in general, they, they did a good job with. Yep. So that's two. And then number three. See, it sucks. I, I really want to say that electric stabilizing. So I'm kind of saying that electric stabilizing, <laughs> but really my number three is that outside kitchen. Yeah. Walk, walk under it, Will. Okay. What'd you say? It's the tall test? Tall test, yep. Yep. It's been tall test. It's great for somebody tall, but it's not too tall. Right. I can still reach up and grab yeah. it to close it. P again, plenty of kitchen space, nice fridge, nice cabinetry on the outside. Just a really, really nice outside kitchen. That's right. And a really, really nice travel trailer. Well, everyone, that's it. That's the review. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. If you guys have any questions about this travel trailer, please call me, text me, send me an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That's my cell number. Or check us out online at mattsrvreviews.com where you can get your official Matt's RV Review stickers. Bing! Also, there's a contact page for both Will and myself if we're not getting back to you fast enough. You contact us. We will contact somebody from our team to help get you the best price in America. Will, do you have anything you want to say? Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you really like this trailer. I, I personally did. I think it's a, it's a great trailer. So I hope you enjoyed. Great. 
Thanks so much for watching. Will. We'll, we'll see you next time. time.